Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 13. Substitution method, we have learned elimination method. Now let's learn cross multiplication method. This is the last method. Here are the steps. For example, if you have two equations, a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0, then what we have to do, we have to multiply equation 1 by b2 and equation 2 by b1. If you multiply this equation by b2 and this by b1, what do you get? b2 a1x, b2 b1y, b2 c1. This is b1 a2, b1 b2 and b1 c2. Correct? Once you have multiplied this, you have to subtract these two equations. So you subtract these two equations, if you see this part, b1, b2 minus b1, this becomes 0. This becomes 0. Then we get equation only in terms of x. Correct? So here x will turns out to be this one. b1, c2 minus b2, c1 by a1, b2 minus a2, b1. Correct? If you have this value of x, provided the denominator is not 0. Right? This is the denominator is not 0. Because if it is 0, it becomes infinite. Once you have the value of x, you can put this value of x in this equation, in your equation, right? In your equation 1 or 2, your wish, you will get y. y will be c1a2 minus c2a1 by a1b2 minus a2b1. Here also, the numerator is same. If you see this one and this one is same. Both are same. Only the numerator is same, uh, different. Denominator is same in both the cases. So, let me repeat the step. You multiply the first equation by b2, second by b1. You get this equation, you subtract this, the y part is gone, you get x is equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and then you get a y is equal to this value if you substitute this in the equation. Once we have that, see this is for the normal flow. We'll calculate this because they can be happy, unhappy flow where we have infinite solution and uh, uh, no solution. So we have to calculate the value of a1 b2 minus a2 b1. If this is not equal to 0, then it has a definite solution, right? Now, if this is equal to, if this whole thing is equal to 0, then there are two possibilities. There are two possibilities. First thing is, it can have infinite solution, where a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Or it can have no solution, where a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. For this, you can refer to the earlier videos where we have proved this that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2, then they are both same equation actually. So it will have infinite solution. a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. It will be a parallel lines. So it will have no solution. Correct? Now what do you have to do? You have to first find the value of a1 b2 minus a2 b1. If this is not equal to 0, well and good, you can find the value of x and y. If it is 0, there are two possibilities. One is infinite solution or no solution. In case of infinite solution, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. In case of no solution, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, but it is not equal to c1 by c2. Since this is little complex, let's understand or let's go through the memory tip. What we have to do is, we have to just write in this form x, y1, b1, b2, c1, c2, a1, a2, b1, b2. Now we have to do cross multiplication. For example, if I write this in this form, this is if you see b1, b2, this is c1, c2, this is a1, a2, and this is again b1, b2. You can arrange in this form and you can write x, y1. One we have written this x by b1, c2 minus b2, c1 is equal to y by c1, a2 minus c2, a1. Right, this one is equal to 1 by a1 b2 by a2 b1. Once you have this, x is nothing but you put this part, you, you put this part here, this will give you x. If you want to find the value of y, you put this part here, get the value of y. That is, x will come out to be b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Similarly, for y, if you put like this, y will come out to be c1 a2 minus c2 a1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Correct? We have got the value of x and y. Very simple. What we have done? We have just written in this form b1 b2 c1 c2 a1 a2 b1 b2. 
we have written this form v1 v2 c1 c2 a1 a2 v1 v2 now we have done the cross multiplication and that's why it is called cross multiplication if you see right we do a cross multiplication v1 v2 minus c1 c2 c1 a2 minus c2 a1 a1 v2 minus a2 v1 correct we'll take some examples here there is no solution we'll solve this so here if you see a1 is 1 right b1 is minus 3 c1 is minus 3. a2 is 3 b2 is minus 9 and c2 is minus 2 correct we have got this values now what we will do we will write in the same fashion actually so x by so I will write here I'm enough space x y 1 here we have to write b1 b2 correct so this becomes minus 3 by minus 9 minus 3 minus 9 this becomes y uh, c1 c2 sorry minus 3 minus 2 here you have to write a1 a2 1 3 and again b1 b2 minus 3 minus 9 correct do cross multiplication of these three correct if you see this what will get x by 6 3 into minus 3 into minus 2 is 6 minus 9 into minus 3 is 27 minus 27 is equal to y by minus 3 into 3 minus 9 minus 2 into 1 minus 2 it is plus 2 is equal to 1 by minus 9 plus 9 and this is 0 1 by 0 since it is 1 by 0 that means it has no solution we have told that if if a1 b2 is equal to a2 b1 both are equal to minus 9 that means no solution correct why because here if you see see this is 0 I am going for this a1 by a2 if you see is 1 by 3 b1 by b2 is minus 3 by minus 9 that is also equal to 1 by 3 right but c1 by c2 is equal to minus 3 by minus 2 is 3 by 2 so here we see a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but it is not equal to c1 by c2 since it is not equal to c1 by c2 I am saying there is no solution for this a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 I will say no solution here I got infinite so I tried to find this ratio and I saw that b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 so I am saying no solution let's take one more example it has finite solution so 2x plus y is equal to 5 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 8 just for the help I put this here here if you see a1 is equal to 2 so I'll put 2 here p1 is equal to 1 I'll put 1 here c1 is equal to minus 5 because this equation is nothing but 2x plus y minus 5 so c1 is equal to minus 5 similarly in this equation 3x plus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0 so a2 is equal to 3 b2 is equal to 2 and c2 is equal to minus 8 correct we have got this values now now we can just find x by multiply this 1 into minus 8 is minus 8 minus 2 into minus 5 is minus 10 minus 10 is equal to y by minus 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 minus minus 8 into minus 2 is minus 16 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 is 4 minus 3 into 1 is 3 so what we get is x by minus 10 plus 8 is 2 is equal to y by 16 minus 15 is 1 is equal to 1 by correct so that means I can say x is nothing but if you compare these two equations, these two equations, x is nothing but 2 by 1 is equal to 2 and y is nothing but 1 by 1 is equal to 2. So I have got values of x and y and that is finite. Correct? Using 
cross multiplication the same equation you can try using elimination substitution graphical method you'll get same answer you try any method doesn't matter you'll get the same answer but you should know all the methods correct let's try one more example where we get infinite solution so here if you see the equation is this form let me first write in the equation of 3x minus 5 minus 20 is equal to 0 please never assume equation in this form always assume equation in ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so I have converted in the standard form and this equation becomes 6x minus 10y minus 40 is equal to 0 so I have both the equation so I have a1 is equal to 3 b1 is equal to minus 5 c1 is equal to minus 20 a2 is equal to 6, b2 is equal to minus 10, and c2 is equal to minus 40. We have all these values, correct? Now, let me do one thing. Let me write the space x, y, 1. Here we have b1, b2, minus 5, minus 10. Here we will have c1, c2 minus 20 minus 40 here we will have again uh, a, a, a1 a2 3 6 and then we will have b1 b2 right minus 5 minus 3 so what we will get x by minus 5 into minus 400 that is 40 that is 200 minus 20 into 10 that is again 200 is equal to y by 6 into 2 120 minus 120 is equal to 1 by minus 30 plus 30. If you see everything is 0, x by 0 is equal to y by 0 is equal to z by 0. That means here a1 by b1, if you see a1 by a2 is 3 by 6, that is 1 by 2. a1 by a2. b1 by b2, if you see, is nothing but minus 5 by minus 10 that is 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 is nothing but minus 20 by minus 40 that is 1 by 2 so if you see a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is c1 by c2 that means it has infinite solution correct what we have done we have just found a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 and we have got this 0 0 0 and we then we have seen that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 you can do it first also. Before that only you can see even by 2 is equal to even by 2 is equal to even by 2 or not. And then you can judge. But just we wanted to show the usage of cross multiplication method. So we have done this. Let's take one more example. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.